गाइज लुक एट दिस माई न्यू सीनी कैमरा इज हियर वट इज अप गाइज विमल हियर एंड वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल टूडे आई हैव एन एक्साइटिंग अपडेट टू शेयर विथ यूल फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल इट्स बीन लाइक फोर फाइव डेज आई हैवन पोस्टेड एनी वीडियो ऑन द चैनल राइट थिंग इज आई वॉज रियली कॉट अप एक्सपेरिमेंटिंग एंड टेस्टिंग माई ब्रांड न्यू कैमरा सो दिस ऑलवेज हैपन्स गाइज वेन एवर आई गेट लाइक ए न्यू टेक और न्यू गैजेट एट माई प्लेस राइट आई कीप टेस्टिंग एट एक्सपेरिमेंटिंग न्यू सेटिंग्स एंड स्टफ आई लूज अ ट्रैक ऑन टाइम एनी वेज इफ यू पीपल हैव बीन वॉचिंग माई रिसेंट वीडियोज आई बीन टेलिंग दैट आई वॉज लुकिंग टू बाई लाइक अ ब्रांड न्यू सेकेंडरी स्पेयर कैमरा फॉर माई सेटअप So this almost happens like every year. Guys. Every year I try to buy like new cameras, new setup, new audio gear to give my audience, my subscribers, best to quality video and audio results. In fact, all my videos that you shoot now they are shot in a very professional way, guys. Not like the regular sida sada creators. All my videos are done in like log format. This is how ungraded footage looks like, and this is how the final graded footage looks like after color grading. Even the audio that you are hearing right now, na, it is shot in like really premium quality, 32 bit float audio. See in my camera setup right I have two primary cameras that I use on a regular basis one is my Nikon Z8 and the second one is my Sony A7 Mark IV both of these cameras run almost every day guys in fact all the videos that you show uh, that you're watching right now huh, they're shot on these cameras only but thing is being a full time youtuber is no easy task guys one or two cameras are like never sufficient i'm being very honest and on top of that at my home mine is not the only channel that is running my dad has a channel my mom has a channel and my sister Mr also has a channel guys in fact my dad's is a very big channel almost like 6 lakh plus subscribers and sometimes gives like tough competition to me only so one or two cameras are like not that sufficient guys that is that is the reason i was looking to buy like a third spare camera so i was looking for multiple options there was quite a bit of confusion whether i should, should i get like a same camera that i had in the setup or should i go for something totally different which i have never used before see because if you are going for a similar camera it saves a lot of time because you don't have to experiment with the uh, modes or settings everything is pre known you already know what are the best settings for that model right so makes things very convenient for you but again when you're spending almost like 1 and 1/2 2 lakh rupees nobody would like to use the same camera right again for the next couple of years you want something different to give you a fresh sort of feel finally after making my decision guys i went and finally bought a cine line camera from sony again this is not the first time me testing out cine line camera i have already tested and used the cine line camera in the past couple of my friends had that so whenever i used to get time right free time i used to get that experiment compare with my existing cameras and you know do a lot of testings and stuff like that so based on that only i bought sony's new fx30 guys fx30 is like the little brother of fx3 guys almost like 80 85% of the features are like very similar the menu shooting styles log modes and all of that but major difference will come in the sensor size fx3 is much more premium full frame mirrorless camera and that is the reason it is also like double the price of this thing that camera body only costs almost like 3 lakh plus rupees whereas fx30 is hardly around like 1 lakh 65 1 lakh 70 thousand rupees in the market and main reason as i've told you now this one features like an aps-c sized sensor and apart from that you cannot compare this cine line cameras with your regular cameras even though both the cameras are made from sony only for example take the a7 series line up right you cannot compare them with this cine line cameras have like completely different cinematic color tone is what i can say and also on this particular mode right sony is also including a cine tone feature which will be talking about it at a later part in the video and apart from that you're also getting something known as cine ei mode shooting guys so for all these cine related features only i wanted to test them out that is the reason i went for the sony fx30 camera and not only that one more major highlight is unlike your regular a7 series cameras right on these cine line cameras you're actually getting like active cooling system the cameras have like built in fan that will cool down the whole sensor and the body and keep you running for a much more longer periods of session and not only that these cameras also support not just 4k 60 shooting but 4k 120p shooting as well that to in like 10 bit 422 color format so in this video i'll be quickly unboxing it give you like a very first hands on in impressions at the camera and then we'll talk about its main highlights and also share my feedback as well let's get started with the unboxing so our brand new cinema line fx30 camera from sony came in this sort of box packaging very compact and simple sort of packaging right there is no picture nothing on the box packaging you just have the sony branding and the model mentioned over here what i've heard is cinema line camera 
products are like always in heavy demand in the industry always shortage guys that is the reason sony doesn't do much advertising and doesn't give any freebies also included no camera bag nothing you're only getting like a bundled charger external charger for the battery as i've told you fx30 is a 26 megapixel aps-c sized mirrorless camera and offers a brand new sensor this camera supports 4k 60 and also 4k 120p video recording also up to 10 bit 4 to 2 color format built in guys you don't need any external recorder and not only that the camera also has like in body 5 axis image stabilization as well we'll talk about all of these features in a moment as soon as you open it there you go we have some paperwork over here which includes some catalogs three year warranty card information user manual and also user guide just make sure to read that keeping that aside you have some regular accessories your usual stuff i'd say main squad for the included camera charger standard charger guys 5 volt 1.5 amp charging if you want to quickly charge your battery slide highly recommend you to use that external bundled adapter we got with the package i'll show that also in a moment keeping that aside this is the battery that is getting included with the camera it's the same sony lithium battery np fz100 series which you might see on the other sony dslr and mirrorless cameras and last but not the least you're also getting a usb type c cable included for data transfer and direct pc charging so that's it these are all the stuff we got in the package now let me give you like a closer look at the camera and show you how it looks like our very first hands-on and impressions camera came nicely packed in this cotton bag and it's only available in this standard one color guys and my god there you go our very first hands-on at sony cinema line fx30 camera we'll come back to the camera and check it out in a moment but first of all let me also show you the bundled adapter we are getting over here bcqz1 is a model and as i've told you it's the same model which we already got with the a7 source series and also comes with the 6000 series as well you're getting a main squad for the adapter and this is how the battery charger looks like so that's it these are all the stuff we got in the package now let's finally have a closer look at the camera and talk about the design and build quality so guys there you go here's how the sony cinema line fx30 camera looks like and initial impressions my god that is a beautiful looking camera and i have to say it is very similar to its bigger brother fx3 i was not expecting that i thought it might be a bit smaller but nothing like that camera offers a really nice look and feel feels solid in the hand the body only easily weighs around like 544 grams and with the battery included i guess it weighs around like 640 650 grams but definitely offers like a comfortable grip and experience the fx30 features a brand new 26 megapixel aps-c sized exmor r cmos sensor it is a much newer version compared to the a7 IV guys overall build quality does look pretty nice from our initial impressions entire body is made of magnesium alloy material and comes in this dual tone finishing which has like a gunmetal gray and black sorter design two-tone color scheme absolutely gorgeous looking design you have the sony branding and as i've told you this camera supports all e-mount lenses and luckily i already have a couple of them in my collection so i'll be using that for my testing only though i have ordered a special lens for this camera exclusively for shooting b-rolls and cinematic shots one once I get that, I'll make a separate video on that. Apart from that, if you look at the whole buttons and layout, right, it's completely different than your regular A7 series, guys. Because I use that A7 IV a lot on my day-to-day -day basis, right? The whole button interface layout is a bit different. And also on the cinema line cameras, you might observe that there are so many quarter inch threads available on all the sides of the body. Because usually these cinema line cameras are used to make rigs where you can directly connect any sort of accessories, cages, or maybe microphones, lights directly on the body. So on the new FX30, right, Sony is including a zoom slide switch as well along with a lot of customizable buttons four-way navigational joystick and also going to the center part here you're getting a multi-interface hot shoe as well and lots of status led indicators as well on the front at the top at the back plenty of status indicators are there that give you a clear indication whenever the camera starts operating and here you have all your connectivity ports let me quickly open up these doors and show you you're getting a full-size hdmi port available a quarter inch thread is also there on the left profile a mic in port is available that with plug-in power option 3.5 mm headphone jack is also there for monitoring purpose type c port is available which can be used for both data transfer as well as charging the camera and lastly there's a micro usb type b port maybe for like camera functions software updates and stuff like that and major thing as i've told you do you see this cutout over here this is actually a vent so the cinema line cameras actually feature like active cooling on board it literally features like a fan over here that automatically switches on at high temperature so that the camera sensor and the body doesn't 
ठीक ठीक एंड यू कैन कीप ऑन शूटिंग वीडियोज इन फोर के एंड हायर फ्रेम रेट्स फॉर ए मच लॉन्गर पीरियड्स ऑफ सेशन विदाउट द कैमरा शटिंग डाउन एंड टॉकिंग अबाउट द टच स्क्रीन द कैमरा कम्स विथ ए फुली आर्टिकुलेटिंग थ्री इंच टच स्क्रीन एंड एज आव टोल इट्स अ टच स्क्रीन यू कैन इजली एक्सेस इट टू नेविगे टू द मेनू टच फोकस एंड प्लेटी ऑफ अदर फीचर्स जस्ट अबाउट दैट यू हैव ए यूनिक पावर ऑन स्लाइड स्विच मोड बटन इज देयर मेनू एंड प्लेटी ऑफ कस्टम व्हील्स एंड डायल्स विच यू कैन इजली कन्फिगर यूजिंग सोनी कैमराज मेनू फॉर डिफरेंट सॉर्ट ऑफ ऑपरेशन एंड जस्ट अराउंड दैट यू गोट योर फंक्शन बटन मीडिया playback and plenty of stuff going to the bottom profile as i have told you plenty of quarter inch threads are available for different sort of accessory attachments let me also show you the battery compartment easily opens up like this and simply install your sony lithium batteries power it on and get started with your work and on the right profile right this is where you can access your storage slots so the camera actually supports dual storage type you can use both cf express type a along with your regular sd cards but for my sort of creative applications where i shoot all my videos in 4k 60 and higher frame rates right your regular sd cards will not work at all so i have to go for cf express type a only and the only thing is they are pretty expensive guys almost like four or five times more expensive than your normal sd card well that's it our quick unboxing and very first hands on and impressions at sony's brand new cinema line fx30 camera as i've told you i've already been using and testing this camera for the last 3 4 days but i'm still not satisfied guys there are so many features and modes i'm going through and i still believe that it's going to take minimum 8 9 days for me to fully understand and get to know what this camera can offer it is completely different than your regular a7 series lineup guys even though both the models and series are made by the same company both are different because cine line camera na totally professional i would say you are getting all the cine ei mode shooting log format shooting a cine tone introduction is also there on this entry level cine camera so especially if you are like a wedding photographer or maybe you are like a professional content creator right you are looking to shoot like cinema line level stuff right you can definitely go for something like this but i'm warning you it's not going to be easy you will be spending lot of time experimenting over here and for this camera right i've ordered like a very special lens which will be getting delivered in 2 to 3 days though not to worry for my testings i already have like a couple of sony e mount lenses which i've been using with my sony a7 4 so you can definitely use the same lenses over here so i'll be sharing all the updates and feedback very soon guys you can definitely stay tuned to that i've already told you about the pricing right uh, the pricing of this camera body only is roughly around 165 to 170000 rupees in my local market i got it for 165000 rupees only i'll try to leave links for that in the description box below you can check it out there apart from that if you people have any sort of questions or you'd like to know anything about this camera do let me know in the comment section i'll try to answer your questions in my review video so that's it if you all enjoyed watching this video and got to learn a lot make sure to smash that like button and subscribe to my channel for more such awesome videos and i'll see you all in my next one